that's me, just hours before I leave on my quest to cycle around the world. Outside it's cold and rainy, doubt is kicking in. Why am I doing this? The last weeks I spent time with loved ones. At the last Christmas dinner with family, the last goodbye dinners with friends. I said goodbye to all the things I know and all the things I love. But now I have to go. I have to do this. I packed my stuff and I'm ready to leave on my adventure. My adventure of just me and my bike. What do you think about me leaving? Mm. I'm proud on you. <laughs> Very proud. And you, Dad? <clears throat> ah. <laughs> I'm a bit nervous. Nervous for bringing you there in time, but we are still very proud. All right. Let's get this little boy in the car. I left my hometown early morning, in the darkness, towards Amsterdam. What better place to start your trip in the heart of the bicycle capital city of the world? My trip will cover 35,000 kilometers, crossing 30 countries and 4 continents. With this extreme challenge, I'm hoping to raise enough money to build a school in Africa. A couple of friends and dear ones are there as well to say goodbye. <laughs> After a few words from my side and from the founder of the foundation I'm cycling for, it was time to say the last goodbyes. The very last words. Very last hugs. And then I set off on my bike into the world. So yeah, this is it. I just left. Um, strange feeling to leave everyone, everyone and everything behind. But um, yeah, super excited to go. Also very nervous and kind of scared, but it's um, it's good to go. I just um, just stopped quickly here in the city center of, of Amsterdam. So um, it's a beautiful canal side, as you can see. And uh, yeah, continuing my way to um, the city of Utrecht, close to Utrecht today. It's not going to be a very long day, I already knew that because uh, it's already, uh, it's almost 12, so I don't have that much time anymore before it uh, gets dark. 
So um, yeah, excited to start this trip. Let's go. So I'm currently biking uh, in between the meadows, as you can see. Uh, I got rid of the fuzz and buzz for the city center of Amsterdam. Heading towards uh, Utrecht now, to a small town nearby Utrecht actually, where I'm gonna spend the night at uh, the parents of my uh, brother-in-law. So that's nice, really looking forward to that. Oh yeah, and I had a... Uh, so I had a quick outfit change because it uh, started to rain a little bit. So I thought, uh, let's put on the rain jacket. And now the sun's coming out, so maybe got to change back again. <laughs> let's see. Well, as you can tell, the first rain of the trip is a fact. <laughs> oh man, I'm already soaked. Only 30 kilometers in, I think. I'm completely soaked, so... <laughs> Man, I was too late with my uh, with my rain pants, so well, I'm wearing them now, but too late. Shoes are wet, everything wet. Well, yeah, that's part of the deal. Good morning, it is day two and yesterday I spent the night at the parents of my brother-in-law. They even let me use their sauna which was absolutely incredible. Um, took a warm shower, um, they provided me with food, with breakfast, they even bought some wine, um, so thank you for that. And that was day two and I'm going to cycle towards Maastricht. I'm not gonna reach it today yet, probably tomorrow. But today I hope to come, well, halfway from this point, obviously. It's gonna be more or less 80 kilometers, I think. Um, the weather is uh, still okay-ish. It's not too cold, but um, uh, it is a bit gray and dark, cloudy. Now just enjoying a little bit of silence here in the woods, close to uh, these wonderful pigs. Yeah, it's gonna be uh, hopefully a good day again. Um, Let's continue this trip. Right, seems like we hit our first ferry of the trip. I think today I have to tackle about three ferries, but uh, I just hope they're gonna be in time and don't have to wait an hour everywhere. It's on the other side now, but it's super close, so I think it's only gonna take a couple minutes before it's here. Let's see. I didn't have to wait too long, but I still had to catch my second ferry. And a third one. Of which the captain was really interested in my story and wished me good luck. <laughs> I continued my way into the Dutch meadows with pretty strong headwinds and later on some heavy showers as well but eventually I got to my destination In a beautiful cottage in the middle of the woods I was welcomed by Mark who was a great adventurer himself We talked for hours, had dinner together and he even gave me a pair of waterproof gloves It's experiences like these that make this trip special.
I am on the road again. It is day three and uh, it is a wonderful day so far. Uh, the sun has come out a little bit every now and then. It's showing. Oh, there you go. It's not too bad. It's still quite windy though. But uh, I think the headwinds are not that bad as yesterday. Um, now I'm off to, uh, to Maastricht today. 80 kilometers, 90 kilometers I think. Um, yeah, let's hope it's gonna be a good day. Time for a coffee break. I am uh, brewing my own uh, mocha coffee at the moment. It's warming up slowly. I thought this would be a nice moment to reflect on the past uh, week or so. Because the, the days leading up to, to the event of actually leaving were quite uh, stressful and uh, nerve-wracking. But I have to say, now that I'm on the road, it's uh, it's nice. It's it's a relief. It's a sense of freedom, and the nerves are gone. So that's good. It's time to enjoy right now. As I'm uh, brewing the coffee, I uh, my mom also gave me uh, the last piece of her homemade cake, which is the best in the world, believe it or not. I'm just gonna have a few bites of this uh, wonderful piece of cake which reminds me of home so yeah only time to enjoy this is life And it's another beautiful day. No, it's not. As you can see, it's uh, pretty miserable again. Um, it's rainy, it's windy, it's gray. It's everything you don't want it to be, but uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's keep the positive mindset. Uh, I reached uh, the hillsides now. I, uh, I just left Maastricht. It's my, uh, my, old, my former hometown where I used to study. I did my bachelor's there, so it was really nice to be there. I arrived in the dark, so I didn't see that much, and it's uh, been too rainy to have a nice visit, so I just decided to go for it. Um, I stayed the night at uh, Kilian, a good friend of mine. Um, I reached the hillsides now. Uh, did already my first climb, just 100 meters, but still, uh, it was a good first try. 4% was uh, quite doable, but afterwards it's gonna be uh, tough. Um, Maybe five, six is still doable as well, but uh, as soon as that hits uh, seven, eight percent, it's gonna be a, a tough deal. So it's gonna be interesting with all the equipment, but now uh, I'm just heading for the. Thank you. I'm heading. <laughs> I think I'm gonna reach the German border in about an hour already, so it's gonna be my first border crossing. Excited for that. Uh, many more to come. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go down the hill now, gain some speed, and then uh, that's it. So as you can see behind me, I've just reached my first border and it's immediately a special one because it's two borders at the same time, the German border and the Belgian border. So uh, I can cross both of those off my list. Um, I'm just going into Germany right now, to Aachen, um, and then I'll stay the night at a, at a place close to Aachen. And then the next day I will cross back into Belgium and continue my way to Luxembourg, which will be my third border crossing.
So I reached the top now and I really have to be a bit quick to, uh, to make it uh, to my next host, Anita. Um, she actually lives in Belgium. I thought it was Germany, but just over the border in Belgium. So I am crossing the Belgian border again today. Yeah, now I have to, to continue before it gets dark again. And um, it's, uh, the weather is uh, still so-so. Uh, the rain is not that bad anymore, but it's still uh, not wonderful, it's still windy. It's a beautiful area though, a very nice uh, scenery of the, of the forest. And it's just a bit hard to, to enjoy the scenery if it's uh, weather like this and you have to bike uphill all the time. Anyway, um, let's get on with it. So as you can see by my appearance, oh, let me just, I think it's a bit better. As you can see by my appearance, uh, it's getting dark. It's pretty dark already. Um, and my route was supposed to go through there. But apparently this thing over here means that it's a military base and that you're not allowed to go in because they're um, they're shooting. <laughs> so uh, since I don't want any bullets inside my body, I have to find another way, which is really shitty. It's gonna take even longer. I just wanna get to my warm showers host and uh, take a warm shower actually. So anyway, um, bit of a disappointment. Bit of a disappointment, but. Uh, it is what it is. Let's continue. Good morning to y'all. Uh, it is day five already. Days are going fast and uh, I just left the house of Anita, my previous host. I hope you can hear me because uh, Again, it's quite windy today and Anita provided me with a, with a bed and a warm shower in her uh, lovely, uh, lovely old farmhouse. She lived there with her two cats and two sheep, which I both got to meet. <laughs> um, yeah, which is very lovely, very old, uh, old classic uh, farm. Um, she was really nice. Uh, yesterday she also had a friend over, so we had dinner together with the three of us. And this morning Anita had uh, made me a very nice breakfast, so that was super nice. Um, I'm currently uh, cycling on the Venbaan, um, which used to be an old train track between Aachen in Germany all the way through Belgium, uh, ending in Trois-Vierges in uh, Luxembourg. It covers a total distance of, uh, I believe, 125 kilometers. I'm not doing all of it, I skipped the first part, but I'm, uh, I'm going all the way to trois Vierge now. Um, and it's very windy, but the scenery is lovely.
the yellow jacket is out again and you know what that means it's raining <laughs> once more um, I knew it was gonna happen today I just oh I just see that it's opening up again <sighs> outfit change all for nothing well I'm gonna wear it anyway because later today there will be some quite heavy showers probably so um, I'll leave it on and then uh, I'll just bike to Luxembourg today. <sighs> These hills are tough. 15, 16% most of the times. Usually not that long, but damn. It takes an effort. Please, because I'm biking my ass off here, keep motivating me by donating for the Sunday Foundation. Every donation helps an awful lot. It changes the world, it changes the entire community, and uh, it keeps me going. So, thanks. I'm gonna take a break, have some lunch, and then. Uh, It's the next day. As you can see, I'm not uh, on a bike anymore. I'm walking uh, through a park in uh, Luxembourg City at the moment. And yesterday, I decided uh, to cycle all the way, uh, all the way to Luxembourg City because um, it was hard to find a place in between, and I had a very comfortable place to stay here at friends of friends. Actually, there's the sun for the first time in three days, so that's very nice. Um, yeah, it was a quite long trip, 125 kilometers, um, more than a thousand meters elevation, so that was quite hard as well. But in the end I made it. Uh, I didn't film anything anymore at some point because it was already dark. And I just wanted to get here because, uh, yeah, it was getting cold as well. So I didn't film anything there, but i um, just going to enjoy uh, the surroundings of Luxembourg City right now as long as it stays dry because the weather has been killing again once more. So that's it for this week. Um, more adventures are coming. Next week I'm gonna continue to the Vosges. Um, if you wanna follow me on these adventures, just follow me uh, here on YouTube. And in terms of donations, we are currently at 1200 euros, which is amazing. Um, so nice that it got such a nice boost in the first few days. Um, the days after were a bit bit slower, so uh, I just encourage everyone, please um, donate if you can. Uh, and if you can't, or you already did, just share everything with your family, with your friends, and uh, spread it into the world so we can build that school quite soon. All right, see you next week. Peace.